what you need for, the, for making paper, something that has some really good, um, strong fibers in it. This is the iris leaf that gives a very luminescent kind of paper. This is horsetail. This is the worst weed in my garden. It's impossible to get rid of. It, it has become paper. <laughs> This is a combination of uh, abaca and then daylily um, leaves. And this is a sheet that I made yesterday. I'm Sharon Meyer Postens. I work with paper. I make sculptural paper um, vessels. Definitely experimental. Which is what makes it fun. I kind of think of them as feathers, but they kind of look like, a bit like petals as well. Um, nothing, nothing is real realistic. I'm kind of uh, semi-abstract. <laughs> I usually build up the form with anywhere from five to ten layers of paper before I start adding any of the fiber or wire materials. And then I'll use my handmade papers on the outside layer. The fi very final layer will be a handmade paper. Uh, sometimes uh, I'm working with an idea. In this case, I'm using kind of a flower petal form inside of uh, this, which I think will be another flower form. And then I'll probably keep filling in between this with, with additional um, uh, petals and um, until I've decided that it's done. I work in a very tactile medium and people do like to touch them, which is fine. They're, they're very touchable and they're, they are not fragile. The thing that's probably most important for me is just to communicate uh, an appreciation of, of the beauty of, of the natural world around us. That's where I am most at home, that's what I love and that's what inspires me. So that I am interested in seed pod forms and the grasses along the side of the road and the when they're waving in the wind. Flower forms, you know, all of these natural things that are there and I just think need to be looked at a little bit more closely. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.